So about 20 years ago, I read Stephen King's On Writing, uh, not long after it came out. And 20 years later, uh, the thing that still sticks with me were his remarks about the drafting process, uh, specifically how he writes first drafts. According to Mr. King, his first drafts are generally really long, much longer than his later drafts, and certainly longer than his final drafts. And if I recall correctly, he speaks about this as though it were a matter of course, as if it were the case for every writer, anytime, anywhere, so on and so forth. In the first draft, writers throw everything in, and then they winnow it down, like the old joke about carving an elephant. And I think the reason that this idea stuck with me is because, over the years, I've discovered that that is not how I write at all. My first drafts are usually really short. They lack all kinds of detail, show very little evidence that I know what I'm doing, or that I should even be a writer. Uh, more often than not, I'll have scenes where all I do is write down nothing but the dialogue, leaving out the tags and any movement or commentary that would ordinarily go along with it. And as far as my exposition goes, well, let's just say it's mostly a jumbled mess of undeveloped possibilities, put there so that my scenes have at least something to hold them together. And in fact, when I was younger, I used to worry about the length of my first drafts, thinking that if I didn't have enough material in my head or jotted down in a notebook to make it possible for me to churn out at least two or three hundred pages, well, then I'd better not even start. But now that I've written five novels and abandoned several others, I know that I'm not exactly like the writer Stephen King describes in his book. In fact, I now shoot for first drafts that are no more than 80 to 120 pages, because I know that in my successive drafts, I'm not going to shrink the size of my manuscript, but expand it considerably. My novel Me and Happy, for example, was just over a hundred pages handwritten, and when I, when it was all said and done, I had myself a 320-page manuscript, which translated into roughly a 280-page uh, novel, available now. <laughs> so anyway, the reason I made this video wasn't to give Stephen King crap for making it seem like all writers do or ought to write really long first drafts. I'm really just more interested in hearing from you and what your experience has been. How do you do it? Are you more like Mr. King, where you churn out a couple thousand pages and then winnow them down? Or are you more like me, where you give yourself a foundation on which to build? Tell me all about your drafting process in the comments below. Bye.